Hello. Yes, that's right. Rebuilding British nationalism from scratch. Can you believe Joe Owens is making this video in his back room with his books, talking about rebuilding British nationalism from scratch? Can you believe what you're watching now? Because it's hard for me to contemplate what I'm now embarking upon. You see, we had the most successful British Nationalist Party in history and Nick Griffin handed it over. Literally handed it over. Surrendered it. To hope not hate agents, Adam Walker and Clive Jefferson. So British Nationalism now has to re be rebuilt from scratch. Well, I know it's a, a mammoth undertaking. I understand that. But what's the alternative? Roll over and die and surrender? No chance. Our beloved Great Britain and our forgotten and beleaguered people need us more than ever. They're in peril and we can't abandon them. And I'm, I don't in, intend to. I'm going to do my best. That's all I can do. That's all I can do, right? Because someone has to do it because there isn't British nationalism. There's the pantomime and circus in its place, right? That no one ever seems to want to attack even you, Nick Griffin. You know, you never attack it. You just either go along with it to see what you can make from it. Like with Tommy Robinson, all the best in court, Tommy. You know, like your two best mates and you know what he's up to. You know, you're a shameful man. Honestly, God, you really, really are. And your hobbies, what? Home cooking and brewing real ale. They're typical and, and indicative of you, aren't they? Filling your fat face. But anyway, that's another video in itself. So Joe Owens is going to have to rebuild British nationalism from scratch. I know, I just can't believe it myself. 2019. And when I say from scratch, that means me and half a dozen people. From scratch, literally. John Tyndall will be turning in his grave. Anyway, so... Uh, oh, and I've got a, a guy that's helping me with the Constitution. He did offer to help a while ago and me believing I could do it all. Uh, didn't take up his offer, but I am now, so thank you. And uh, hopefully the Constitution will um, be good enough to pass the Electoral Commission uh, standards or whatever it is. And then we're up and running, right? I've got a five-year plan laid out for Liverpool. I've got some amazing amazing ideas strategies the right message you name it trust me i have right so it's going to get done ladies and gentlemen it is going to get you know there's going to be british nationalism again it's going to have to be built from scratch literally right literally from scratch how i'm going to perform i don't know but the alternative is to give up and die surrender and roll over well, well no chance you can keep posting on twitter nick griffin and whatever else you do i don't know why you do that because if it's all over what's the point plus it doesn't achieve anything anyway you should roll your sleeves back up right get off the real ale and steak and ale pies instead of walking in the hills put a backpack on and start running and get fighting fit again for some real politics instead of the nonsense you're pursuing at the moment but i'll keep you posted as to what's happening but it's going to happen trust me Okay, thank you. Our activity must be geared to the winning of power. That still has to be said to some people in our movement here in America, back in Britain and everywhere else. They are crusaders for the truth, but they don't relate it to the necessities of winning power. It cannot be said enough. Power is what must be won. First, just a little bit of power. Then more power. And finally, complete power. Activity geared to anything else is a waste of time.